your show. Do you want it? Very nice. Meanwhile, up at top, they're going for the charge onto the Darkseer here, running him down. The first blood will come for Secret in the top lane. Very nicely That's done as uh, Flyby says bye bye. Yeah, but at the same time, the Earth Spirit's just starting to mess around with the Creep Wave. Um, he does have to be careful, though, especially with this charge coming in from the Spirit Breaker. Yeah, this seems to be a fairly nice uh, encounter already. It's down in the bottom lane. Zai takes a fall. The charge lands up at top. Spirit Breaker on top of the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit will get these creeps kind of uh, doubled up right now, but he's coming oh, in no. and Yapsor is waiting. He's got a paralyzing cask. Won't have anything to bounce to here, but they're just waiting for that charge to come in. Uh, Fu, he's probably going to be dropping here. I think this is going to be the second one for Secret up here at top. So, so far, two kills in that top lane already. Not a great start for RNG up there, but they will be happy with how things are going at bottom as they've managed to take down Zai once. Yeah, I agree, but... Ooh. Dust in the bot lane as well. They're all coming in onto Zai. They're really looking to punish this guy. And if they kill him again here, which they certainly will, Zai is now not going to have a TP to get him. Throw it in the dust straight up. So now they have to commit to this kill. You use your early gold to go for this, but they've got the Icarus dive to come through. Monet eating through the trees. They are on top of Zai right now. Zai out of spells and rapidly running out of life as well as the burn will come Ooh, through. Sanking is gone. Meanwhile, he's being chased down by Puppy. Has he got the charge? Four seconds. He's going to need it. Puppy, is he going to go for it? Yes, he is. Under the tower he goes. Puppy, the man, man. He's charging up onto the high ground at four minutes into the game. He takes Flyby's life. Removed a lot of the time of oh, the surge. Yeah, which no, is that's uh, unfortunate. Interesting. Mid one in the middle lane. It could be in trouble here. Is Setsu coming in under the tower? Misses with the silence. Mid one into the trees here. Setsu getting charged as well. He could find this coming round on him pretty quickly. Mid one got to be careful, but also wants charge. to be able to make this kill happen. But he gets him with the orb. Setsu turn around, kills mid one over to the tree. He's going to get himself away. Puppy will not find the kill. And mid one takes the fall. Getting really greedy there, Secret, trying to punish that puck. Stylish outplay. That was pretty nice. Yeah, that was pretty he tasty. Used fairy, he used his fairy fire already, so mid one was quite literally playing with fire there. Yo, so many kills going on across this map. It's Afu charged in the middle lane, drawing attention over there, but it's actually Zai who is in trouble in the bottom lane as he goes down once again. And now in the top, my goodness. Flyby to try and push his limits in here. Like, he might die again, but you know that, that's what it is. Like, he's getting XP at least. Yeah, he's... he's... Gets the double stun off, but they're still going to chase him. And with Puppy ripping through, they might actually try and turn this one. Yapsil's coming in as well. They've got the Mana and the stun out onto Mone. Zai doesn't want to come too close, though. He doesn't have that much health. And Zoro comes in, landing perfectly onto Zai and finding that kill. And now they look forward. Takes this not a bigger deal, constantly being able to refill this bottle. Um, can we take a... We certainly cannot as the door lane goes down. Zai looking really low here. The fire might just finish him off and they actually get a right click because they've got the vision on. They've even popped the phantasm for this. Marlan and being chased by mid one a bit. Mid one's got this haste rune. He is just going in onto the Phoenix right here. Phoenix dropping super low and mid one will finish it off. That's stylish. That fire remnant, but is he? He's absolutely fine. He's, he's not even worried. Oh, not even just the fire remnant to finish him off, but he used it to dodge the roll from the Earth Spirit. He's really bored well. that. Ooh, top lane. Are going on flyby? Yeah, they certainly are, and that was the Omni Slash just used their spin to finish the job, and flyby will be taking another fall up here, but doing okay on the uh, on the Darks here, but you know, this is the first pick Darks here, so you can't expect him to have like the best game in the world, but still pretty rough, not really what you want from your Darks here in that off lane. Meanwhile, down at bottom, they get another kill onto Zai. Can we, uh, Zai's naught, seven and naught. What? I mean, in terms of Zai's performances, oh my god, yeah. this has been a, one of the more difficult ones, it has to be said. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst I've seen is uh, Setsu in some trouble. He actually gets finished off here. He's going to die. And the roll comes in forward onto Yapsor, kicking him back under the tower. He throws down the Maledict, but I think he's already dead. Afu did find that kill. RNG is playing really nice. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be really happy. Meanwhile, in the mid, they should get this kill onto the Earth Spirit here. They're even going to commit with the uh, with the Death Ward there just to finish it off. But Yapsor here, they want to try and find the Witch Doctor here. It's a small kill, but they're definitely trying to go for it here. But Yapsor actually gets the Maledict oh, nice down. Egg. Phantasm Pop, but immediately ripped through from Puppy, but they've already taken down Yapsor. Now the Egg on the back line's not doing a whole lot, but forcing back the side of Secret. Lanham comes flying in on this one. They're controlling the up Mono really well. The Omni Slash come through and actually finishing off. Arpy trying to get away, but no! Nisha gets him with a right click. And that's going to be a couple of kills going their way and make it another one as another strike comes in from Nisha right now. 
Uh, yeah, they're going for Arfu right now, and Arfu does not have his team behind him oh, just yet. No. They're pretty far away. Tries to get the roll, but gets interrupted by Puppy, and that is going to be one dead. What RNG is about to do here, and they could really ruin their day right now as they come into this one. The charge ripping through onto two, and immediately bringing down that puck straight away, blocking the roll as Puppy comes in with the ultimate, and that is two heroes just assassinated in the river. He likes counter wards or whatever, you know, just, just, yeah, if there's anybody here who's going to stun me or whatever, sure? I'll just get out of there. But now that bulldozer's run out. CK's actually going onto this one. Meanwhile, down at the bottom, they're actually going onto Nisha. This is a big kill going on. They're actually going to be able to bring him down. The Juggernaut is dead. Meanwhile, up in the top lane, they get the kill onto Puppy. Uh, Monet, though, could be run down by Zai here, and he certainly oh, no. will. Meanwhile, Arfu also took a fall. They're actually going to get the silence off, so he can't stun up Lanham. And now the Boris track actually misses on both, and Setsu's on top of him. Zai could be in trouble, but it's taken them a long time to bring him down as a charge comes through onto the Darks here right now. But Zai dropping low, dropping low, finally dead. Supernova gets him, and now with the Omni Slash coming through onto Flyby, Nisha finds a pick up on the side. Setsu just cancelling out that charge, but now also <laughs> cancelling it again with the Dream Call, but it doesn't matter. He just gets ripped apart by Nisha all the same. Three heroes dead, and all for Zai. It's just not much of a trade as Monet picked up on the back lines by Yatsor and mid one and now does down the pigeon as well. Lanham is dead. And forwards trying to grab somebody with the chains. He finds Arfu in the trees here. Arfu rapidly running out of options right now as he will get finished off by mid one. We have Nisha with the Mjolnir damage bouncing around. Uh, Monet. Monet jumps one here and then comes the Omni Slash as well trying to make it over to the shrine. He's popped the BKB as well. Lanham actually helping take Good. some of the Omni Slash and then getting the egg off. This could be really bad. Nisha getting ripped apart but does manage to bring down the egg just before he goes down and trying to drive him back into the mess here. Vacuum comes in but now mid one joining in the spot. He's picked up a BKB. I don't know where did he get that but he's just turned the fight apart. RNG are absolutely going. With an arcane rune or like a DD rune or there's always something. Oop, coil yeah, in the he... middle lane. Puppy. No charging out of this one, my friend. He might be taking a death, although it's taking a very long time. Mid one's actually jumped in on this one. They finally finished off Puppy, but mid one he is on top of Arfu, and that's going to be a kill for him. Buyback comes in from Puppy. He wants to get back into this fight. Doug's here trying to get himself away, but he's just getting stunned up. The cask is just bouncing non stop, and now the roots, and now the charge, and Puppy buys.